Thank you for the chance to share a little bit about Ann Arbor's proposed sustainable energy utility. In our brief time together, I want to share a little overview of what NSU is, how it could operate in Ann Arbor, and propose next steps. As background, Ann Arbor has set an ambitious goal of achieving zero climate pollution by the year 2030. To understand how to achieve that goal, it's important to understand where our climate pollution comes from. Locally, 40% of our community-wide pollution, known as greenhouse gas emissions, come from building electricity usage. And nearly two thirds come from building electricity plus natural gas used to heat and cool our buildings. Given this reality, we know that solutions to reducing local climate pollution necessitate finding pathways to clean our electricity grid and support the transition away from fossil gas for heating and cooling to clean electricity. As we look for ways to improve the reliability and to clean our energy supply, it's important to understand the energy landscape in Michigan. Ann Arbor has what is known as a pre-Foot Act franchise, which means that DT has the right in perpetuity to provide power to the city. However, Foot Act franchises are not exclusive and the Michigan Constitution protects the rights of cities and villages to create their own municipal utility. This can be done either via a taking, also known as condemnation and the buyout of an incumbent utility and their infrastructure, or via the creation of a supplemental utility. To date, every community that has started their own municipal electric utility within Michigan, though with the last being Zealand, originally formed in 1902, did so by starting a utility from scratch when service was not widespread. And you can imagine why. Standing up a full set of poles and wires to directly compete with the incumbent utility is an expensive proposition, as is buying out their infrastructure through condemnation, which means you acquire infrastructure that is often in poor condition. But what if we created a complementary community-owned energy utility that provides electricity from local solar and battery storage systems installed in homes and businesses in our community? What if that community-owned utility provided 100% clean, reliable, locally built, and affordable electricity built right here in our community? This utility would give residents a choice for where they procure their energy, a choice we don't have today. And this parallel utility would not duplicate the traditional grid with all of its vulnerabilities, but focus it on generating clean, reliable, and affordable power now. That's what the city of Ann Arbor is exploring through the creation of a sustainable energy utility. As envisioned, an SEU would focus on generating local, clean energy, energy that would feed directly into our homes, businesses, places of worship, and community centers. This clean energy would be paired with storage to help improve energy reliability and offered in conjunction with deep energy waste reduction programs to help our residents lower their energy costs and usage, all while improving comfort. The concept of an SEU is grounded in choice, providing Ann Arborites another way to procure a large portion of their energy, one that is coming from clean, local, reliable, and resilient sources. The SEU would enable a lot more people to get the benefit of solar by directly paying for installation on residential and business roofs, carports, and via ground-mounted systems. Residents wouldn't be the owner of that solar system, the public, or the SEU would. Residents would subscribe to purchase their energy at a rate that is based on costs and SEU operational needs from the system on their or their neighbor's roof. If all the residents' power needs are met, the excess generation from the solar system on their property flows into a battery system. This means that residents could still have power if the big traditional grid goes down. This is already possible today. Additionally, the SEU would not be limited by current utility restrictions that constrain solar system sizes and the amount of solar allowed within the grid, i.e. the 1% cap. Instead, the SEU would seek to maximize solar installations, leveraging all viable sunny roof space. Over time, individual solar systems would be connected through a series of microgrids, not DTE's grid. The SEU could also offer a series of robust energy waste reduction programs, helping people lower energy demand and improve comfort. These services would be available to anyone that participates in the SEU, kind of like current energy waste reduction offerings, which are available through our incumbent utility. However, we would offer a slew of additional opt-in services that individuals can use to improve comfort, reduce bills, and save energy. 
These additional offerings can be financed through on-bill finance. Through on-bill finance, the SEU is able to pay the upfront costs of improvements, such as energy efficiency or electrification upgrades, and residents pay back the costs through their utility bills. This allows the cost of the improvement to stay with the home as opposed to the resident and helps reduce the initial upfront costs needed to make improvements. This makes these types of investments much more accessible to low-income individuals and renters, individuals historically omitted from most utility programs. The SEU will also provide support for beneficial electrification, ensuring we have safer, more comfortable, and cleaner homes and businesses, and eventually offer community solar programs so that individuals without viable solar access can still reap the benefits of a clean economy. I know that was a lot to digest, but let me bring back the conversation to one core point. An SEU is a community-owned utility that focuses on generating local, clean, reliable energy, fast. It's about leveraging existing technologies and practices, such as solar and storage, to reduce emissions quickly while improving reliability. It's about ensuring that all Ann Arborites have access to solutions to improve comfort, reduce bills, and reap the benefits of the clean energy economy. The SEU, as I mentioned before, is about generating locally owned, reliable, clean, and affordable energy. Because we are generating it locally, we don't need a large and vulnerable distribution network. This also means we don't have to worry about buying a lot of poles and wires or about extreme weather events knocking the SEU supplied power out. Instead, we can focus on generating clean, reliable local energy fast and reducing climate pollution rapidly. To close out, I'd like to share a few examples of how the SEU could work. This isn't meant to be an all-inclusive list of examples, but illustrative for how some of the concepts we've discussed could work in practice. Let's start with the example of a homeowner or business owner who has good solar potential, but doesn't have the capital or ability to install solar on their roof. In this case, the individual would subscribe or enroll in the SEU as a supplemental utility to DT. The SEU would work with that homeowner to conduct a needs assessment identifying potential energy waste reduction and electrification opportunities. Selected opportunities would be implemented and the homeowner would have the option of financing those through the SEU's on-bill finance program. The SEU would strive to create a financing package where the electric bill is the same or less than what is currently being paid. Once those improvements have been paid off, the residents reap the full benefits of the improvements. Concurrently with the above, the SEU installs solar on the resident or business's roof. The resident pays their energy bill as they always have, paying per kilowatt hour of usage generated from the solar system on the roof. Any additional power they draw from DT is paid directly to DT. In this way, the resident has two bills, the SEU bill for the energy used from their solar system and the bill from DT for the power they draw from the grid. In this example, a resident or business is interested in energy waste reduction and beneficial electrification offerings, but cannot install solar, perhaps because of beautiful trees that block solar access. In this case, the individual would receive an on-site assessment to identify energy waste reduction and beneficial electrification opportunities. The individual chooses which options to move forward with and would have the opportunity to finance those improvements through the SEU's on-bill financing mechanism. The individual could also register to join the micro or nano grid, thereby sharing power with residents that have better solar potential once a critical number of neighbors sign up for the SEU. This individual would receive two energy bills, one for the portion of improvements financed via on-bill finance through the SEU, and one for the energy they pull from DTE. A third example is a resident who already has solar on their home or business. In this case, the resident could still take advantage of all of the energy waste reduction and beneficial electrification support offered through the SEU and leverage on-bill financing to pay for those improvements. This resident could also enroll for an SEU battery if they don't currently have one. The resident can also enroll in the SEU and sell their excess power to the SEU so that it can be distributed through local micro and nano grids, i.e. they can share their power with their neighbors. The rates for energy being sold to the SEU still need to be determined, but an intent is to get as close to net metering as possible. In this way, the resident is helping to provide power to the SEU 
and to their neighbors. A fourth example is for a multifamily rental. In this case, the SEO would work closely with the landlord or the property owners and the tenants to customize solutions that meet individual needs. Rental units are eligible for all SEU offerings, energy waste reduction, solar and storage installation, beneficial electrification, and eventually being tied to the local microgrid. The city's work on green leases, paired with the on-bill financing tools offered through the SEU, help ensure the cost of improvements stay with the building and allow those cost of improvements to be spread over longer periods of time, offering the opportunity for immediate health, safety, and comfort improvements at reasonable costs. The final example is of community solar. In some cases, individuals will not have access to on-site renewable energy generation. In these cases, off-site solar will be installed in common areas such as parking lots, school rooftops, parks, or other shared places. Individuals can subscribe to take a portion of this energy produced from these common sites to power their life and business. In this way, anyone in the community can participate in the SEU, even if they don't own their own home or don't have viable solar potential on site. Individuals that subscribe to the community solar offering pay per kilowatt hour of usage directly to the SEU and pay DTE for any power they use from the utility. Those are just a few examples of how the proposed SEU could work. To find out more, please see www.a2gov.org backslash A2SEU. If you're interested in seeing the city move forward with an SEU, please register your interest by taking the short five question survey noted in the second bullet point on the screen. And if you have additional questions, please send those to sustainability at a2gov.org. Thank you for letting me share a bit about the proposed Ann Arbor Sustainable Energy Utility, a clean, reliable, locally built and affordable way to power our community.